Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. It's Monday after Thanksgiving. The kids are back in school and I'm looking to use up all this um, Thanksgiving leftovers. In this bowl here I have um, bell peppers and onions diced. Here I have a handful of the, the ham chopped. I have two potatoes here that I'm going that I peel and I'm going to dice these. I'm making a simple potato hash that I love making at home from scratch for the kids. I usually use um, probably some kind of sausage I have in the fridge. But since I'm working on the um, Thanksgiving leftovers, I'm going to be using the ham from Thanksgiving. This is a small amount because I'm just making my husband and I are home. But he's not a... He will eat some of the hash, actually, but I'm also going to be making some scrambled eggs, and he's not an egg person. So let me put these chopped potatoes in this bowl over here. You just want to chop them as desired size, whatever size you like. This potato has... Sometimes I usually like to get up early and make myself this when the kids are not home and I have an early breakfast and then I usually leave a little bit for them to have lunch or something, depending on the mood I'm in. Or I leave the leftovers that one of the kids would eat when they come home from school. Okay guys, I am done dicing the potatoes, so I'm going to move over to the, um, the sink and I'm going to wash these and come back and we'll move on to the cooking process. Okay guys, I am back with the potatoes, they've been washed. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of oil onto the potatoes, maybe about a teaspoonful, and then a pinch of salt. And then I'm going to use my hand and rub this up really good. Okay, now I'm going to wrap the bowl with a piece of plastic wrap. Oh, I gotta, I'm going to put that on the list of today. And I'm going to put this in the microwave for 10 minutes. Now let's move on over to, to the next process. Now on the stove guys, I have two pans heating with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter. And this bigger pan is gonna be for the potatoes. So to this I'm going to add a little bit of the chopped onion and bell peppers. The other pan is going to be for my scrambled eggs. I don't make scrambled eggs. I can't eat scrambled eggs unless I add onions to my scrambled eggs. So once that is melted, I'm going to add a little bit of onions to that also. And here I have just two eggs because it's just me. I have two eggs um, beat with a little bit of milk. I'm going to add a little bit of hot sauce to this. Okay, the eggs are beaten with black pepper and salt, and I just added a little bit of hot sauce. Mm 
To the, the pan for the um, potatoes, this is where I'm also going to add the, the, the chopped ham. You can also make some scrambled eggs with the chopped onions and the chopped ham in your scrambled eggs if you wish. I love doing that also. Okay, it's six minutes, um, five minutes has passed on the microwave. I want to check on the potatoes because I want to make sure they're not sticking together, make sure I put enough oil on them. And please be careful because when you remove the plastic, the heat that permeates from that. Okay, they're doing good. They're not sticking together, so let's finish it up. Turn this down a bit while we let it slowly saute while we wait on our, on, I'm sorry, our potatoes. And this is getting ready, this is about ready for the eggs. Stop humming Christmas carols because I've just been watching the Christmas shows. I need to, you know, through those Hallmark Christmas shows, I feel the love and the giving that Christmas should be about it makes me feel so good. The last night I was watching the CME Christmas Festival, and I can't seem to stop humming Christmas carols. I think it's time for me to start listening to some Michael Bublé Christmas music. I love that man. Mm -hmm. I love these pans. These non-stick pans, you know. I, I bought a, a non-stick pan a couple of years ago and it was with a, sh a prominent chef's name on it. But it's the one where on the inside it has that thing, and when the kids didn't know better, and they would use spatula and put things in it, the stuff started digging up in the pan. And I read that it's unsafe, so I had to stop using it. I'm like, I spent so much money for that pan, and I have to stop using it. Now, this past September, my daughter bought me these for my birthday, and as far as nonstick goes, they are the best. Yeah, absolutely the best. Ooh, these proper eggs are perfect, just like I like them. If my husband was down here, he would make me an omelet. He likes to call himself the king of the omelet, so. But he's down here, so scrambled eggs it is. And if you want to have cheese, then you go right ahead. Cheese would be perfect, too. Are done. We turn this off and then with this. I don't know what or if anything I'm gonna add cheese to it. You know, do the potatoes that way in the microwave. It's just it's just a quick and fast way. the potato hash or you know cut up in the grocery store then you wouldn't need to or you wouldn't need to, to do that so just cook it right there on the top of the stove top recipe you can cook as little or as much as you need to ok 
Okay. Let me get a fork to check those potatoes. Perfect, because I cut them so small, perfect. And, and see, I can still, i put it over here. I can still, oops, I can still stir the potatoes and they're not sticking together because of the little oil and because they were a little bit wet too. See, perfect. And I did for this amount of uh, potatoes, which I think I would guess around two cups, I said, um, 10 minutes I actually did it for, for eight minutes and I know that's because of how tiny I chop them the thicker you cut them the more you need to cook them in the microwave so there our potatoes are added to the ham and we're gonna let this cook together just for a bit Now the question, you can turn this into a nice um, hash casserole also. If you, do, if you do a large batch, it could be a nice potato casserole, breakfast casserole. Now I'm trying to decide if I want cheese or not. I'm not a big fan of cheese because as I get older, I seem to develop an intolerance for cheese. And as good as the thing tastes, I don't think it's worth it. That sometimes I am and sometimes I'm not. I don't know when. Okay, to the hash, I need to add just a little bit of black pepper. My mom's group, mom's building wealth is having a, um, we are having a potluck this coming Saturday. My dish to bring, of course, is curry chicken. I hope I can bring the camera with me to the potluck because I want to really show women how to support and encourage each other, how to build together, that we really don't have to compete with each other. There is so much greater success if we support and build each other. And so I created a group for that. And we are having a potluck this coming Saturday and then also on the 16th we are ending with um, a vision board and goal setting party for the 16th of December. It should be awesome. That's the event we, events we have for, for this year. I'm not sure how next year what I have on the calendar is for our Ma Mother's Day retreat. And then I don't know. We got to get some events in for next year. It's, it's planning time for next year so we can reap. Okay, guys, I would say this is finished. Let me grab a plate and let me show you what it looks like. Then if you want to add cheese, I would recommend you do that. Tastes lovely with some cheese. Oh my goodness. This, this is even great for dinner time because I love breakfast for dinner. I am weird like that. So here we go guys. My my breakfast potato hash with leftover tur um, Thanksgiving ham and scrambled eggs. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.